All right, so in this video, I'm going to be explaining another important article about domain adaptation. This time, the, art, the title is Divide and Contrast, Source-Free Domain Adaptation via Adaptive Contrastive Learning. I have a playlist about contrastive learning, so you can watch it. And uh, so this article in 2022, when we say source-free, it means that we don't even have access to source data for different reasons, for privacy concerns, for different reasons. We investigate a practical domain adaptation task called source-free unsupervised domain adaptation, where the source pre-trained model is adapted to the target domain without access to the source data. Existing techniques mainly leverage self-supervised pseudo-labeling to achieve class-wise global alignment or rely on local structure extraction that encourages the feature consistency among neighborhoods. While impressive progress has been made, both lines of methods have, have their own drawbacks. The global approach is sensitive to noisy labels while the local counterpart suffers from the source bias. So in this paper, we present divide and contrast, a new paradigm that strives to connect the good ends of both worlds while bypassing their limitations. Based on the prediction confidence of the source model, a DAC divides a target into source-like and target-specific samples where either group of samples is treated with tailored goals under an adaptive contrastive learning framework. Specifically, the source-like samples are utilized for learning a global class clustering thanks to their relatively clean labels. The more noisy target-specific data are harnessed at the instance level for learning the intrinsic local structures. We further align the source-like domain with target-specific samples using a memory-based maximum mean discrepancy loss to reduce the distribution mismatch. So to introduce the expansion assumption we first define that the suitable set of input transformations takes the general form. So B of X is X prime, that there exists some A such that X prime minus the distance between X prime and A sub X is less than this radius R. Then the neighborhood of a sample X is defined as, uh, so with these boxes, we can define the neighborhood. Uh, so this Q and gamma constant expansion, we say Q satisfies Q gamma constant expansion for some constant. If for any set, we have this probability greater than minimum of gamma and P. The theoretical analysis is that our divide and contrast paradigm mainly divides the target data into source-like and target-specific samples via the source classifier. So by freezing the source classifier, we select the confid uh, confident samples with prediction probability greater than a threshold and regard them as source-like samples. And the rest in target data is uh, target specific samples. So the claim is suppose H is H Lipschitz, uh, there exists a threshold such that the source set is consensus is robust. This paper is a little bit uh, theoretical. I just skip the things, but whatever you need is this. The entire loss is the contrastive loss, the self, and E, a maximum mean discrepancy. So you get the idea that 
uh, we first they introduced DAC, our proposed method for source free unsupervised domain adaptation. Uh, so, what is data segmentation as self training? To achieve preliminary class wise adaptation without target annotations, we generate pseudo labels to supervise the transformation set of input B. In practice, we consider two different augmentation strategies in augmentation set. Where weak augment, this is weak augmentation, refers to random uh, cropping and flipping. And this is strong augmentation, refers to automatically learn augmentation strategy. And then they have a pseudo labeling. They apply strategy proposed in this reference to update pseudo labels in each epoch. So probability of sub i, the prediction from source classifier. Now the initial centroid for each class k is, is this. So this is the initial centroid for class k. The centroids estimate the centers of different categories. They're just like the idea of protonet in future learning, same idea. And the samples are labeled identically with its nearest initial centroid. Using this argmax of the cosine distance between V of x i C sub k. The k centroid is further modified by this C k where one is just the indicator and the pseudo labels are further updated by the mo modified centroids based on this equation. So this is the illustration of the proposed DAC. You see first they give it to feature extractor. Now that you have these features and of course strongly augmented features, you give it to this source classifier. So this, this is one of the, we have three losses, the contrastive loss and EMMD, maximum mean discrepancy. So the pseudo, so we understand that some of them are pseudo-like. We have a measure to, to, to know that some of them are target specific. Then we update our memory bank. And as I said, we have centers we have this, uh, the, for example, this one is uh, class centroid. And uh, for self-training, we encourage the consistent prediction between the two type outputs, following the KL divergence between P sub C and one over C. And uh, P sub C, is regularized by uniform distribution to encourage output diversity. So this H, H is Shannon entropy, which is used to encourage confident outputs and accelerate convergence. So network predictions and two views are denoted as uh, PW and PS respectively. And uh, now that this Yi uh, is just one, ha one hot of uh, Yi tilde, the one hot coding of suits, our pseudo labels. So as the analysis before, we divide all samples into source-like set and target set. During training process, samples are dynamically grouped into source-like set by the threshold tau sub c and a target specific samples are the rest target uh, data. Now here we are doing contrastive learning. We conduct the prototype contrastive loss. Uh, and uh, we employ a momentum updated memory bank. So that memory bank is just needed for contrastive learning that I showed you in this figure. This memory bank. This memory bank is needed here. And uh, so we are talking about this memory bank in contrastive learning. 
but uh, this summation is over one positive pair and this amount of negative pairs and of course they have this uh, temperature hyperparameter which is typically 0 0.05 the contrastive loss tries to classify anchor's fe anchor feature as its positive prototype from all negative samples. Memory bank generates C plus N0 and O features, including the class level signals, for example, C class centroids, as well as NO uh, target specific instance features. The source like uh, and target specific samples are jointly optimized by generating corresponding positive prototypes. For the source like anchor, since the network prediction is relatively reliable, we encourage contrastive learning to achieve class wise adaptation by designating the positive prototype as class centroid. Due to its noisy class level supervisory signal, now we are talking about the target specific anchor. Because it has a noisy class level supervisory signal, we generate a positive prototype by introducing local structure, including neighborhood consistency and transformation stability. Specifically, we enhance the semantic consistency with the strongly augmented features and the k nearest features that can be easily found in memory bank via cosine similarity. Uh, one of the most important reasons to utilize the memory bank is to conserve source information by momentum updating features. Therefore, the memory bank is initialized with the features by performing forward computation of source feature extractor. At each iteration, the memory bank features are updated via momentum strategy for the ICE input feature. The memory bank provides source-like centroids and target-specific feature for contrastive learning. The target specific features can be directly accessed in memory bank. We initialize the source like set before initializing source like centroids. Samples with confident predictions from the source classifier are termed source like. To guarantee sufficient samples in a source like set, we initialize a source like set by drawing samples with top 5% predictions in each class. So the sys source like set is initialized uh, like this. And then to obtain better adaptation performance, we further achieve alignment by minimizing the edge divergence between source like set and target set. So the MMD between the two domains source and T with just a linear kernel because you can use any kind of kernel. It is, so this is the distance. And you see the accuracy and domain set, domain net uh, data set from different sources to different targets of different methods. For example, for this method, of this paper is 66%.